Good morning, YouTube. I'm using my newest camera, and this could be a total flop, but uh, I I changed the settings on this. The last time I used this new computer, it took six hours to download a video, and uh, even though it doesn't really matter because I use, like I said, I before I go to bed at night, I just put it on download and YouTube and in the morning I I post it. Anyway, today is it's been a couple of days since I made a video. Uh, I just haven't got around to it. I don't know why um, like I said I I could make a video every day but right now I can make a video when my wife is gone. My wife was off for four days and we had our our little granddaughter over the weekend, and today is a Thursday morning. It is July the 27th, 2017. It is 80 degrees inside the house. It is 9.36 in the morning. I'm making a video because my wife went to a, Bible, a women's Bible study, and I was thinking about what I could do if I was to do uh, what I've been reading the last, this week and I was to show my thrift, thrift store finds it would just take forever so I'm not going to go into what I've been reading the last three or four or five days I'm just going to show the used books I have found when I go out and go into Salvation Army, Goodwill, Bibles to Mexico, Action House uh, also books I got in the mail. I think I have those here with me. Uh, first, the books I got in the mail yesterday. Well, I, uh, I got these books in the mail because I accidentally sent them to my, not to our, our middle son, our uh, youngest son, Josiah, to uh, Mercer Island in Washington, outside of Seattle reason why is because uh, my wife and I, we ordered for Josiah and Hannah a crib and a mattress and sheets, and I forgot to change the address. So when I ordered books that day, used books, they were sent along with the other things to our son Josiah's house, and he sent them back to me, and I got them in the mail yesterday. I had ordered this used novel by Paul Lefere, uh Hussman, or The Distinction, uh, I ordered his new novel, which is, I can't remember right now what it is, but uh, I got this in, I ordered this because I had ordered his newest novel, and this novel takes place in Paris. Uh, it says here, his new novel, Hosemen or the Distinction, is a stunning departure inspired perhaps by the greatest urbanness of modern times, Baron Georges Eugene Husserman. In the mid-19th century, the city of Paris was forever transformed by Husserman, who over two decades brought to fruition many of many unprecedented schemes for the city of his dreams, providing clean water, public transporta transporta transportation, for its inhabitants, creating a sewer system that was the envy of every nation in the world, paving over the filthy, haphazard streets of medieval Paris with brilliantly lit tree-lined boulevards, ingeniously imagined parks. But there is a story, so Lafarge's novel begins, that in spite of all his tremendous achievements, Hosseman wished on his deathbed that all of his work be undone. The secret of the Baron's last regret lies at the heart of Husserman or the distinction. This is the story of Madeline, the foundling, foundling who grew up in the world Husserman destroyed. Her adoptive father and lover, DeFord, DeForce, and the prefect of Paris himself, Baron Husserman. Over time, Husserman forms a business alliance and friendship with DeForce. The Demolition Man, the unsurpassed artist demolisher who tears down the old Paris and sells its rubble 
as antiques to gullible customers and proves himself to be an invaluable ally of Hussman's grand schemes. But when De Forest introduces the Baron to his adoptive daughter, Madeline, a love affair begins that will ensnare their lives and the rest, ensnare their, these three for the rest of their lives. And it goes on. So anyway, I got that in the mail, used. And then I ordered uh, Don Powell's biography, 10 page. I mentioned that I got 50% off from the Library of America, a two volumes of Don Powell's works, which I should get in the mail sometime soon. But I, this is by Tim Page. He edited her works and he's put out her diaries and her letters. So I got this. As far as used books, I picked up this novel by an Indian writer from this, from India. Uh, his name is R.K. Narayan, Waiting for Mat Matama, um, Matama, Matama. This is by University of Chicago Press. I looked this guy up, I never heard of him, but he's considered one of India's uh, greatest writers of novels. Uh, he's written many short stories, novels. So I got this. And then I picked up at the library used bookstore, the Book Nook, uh, about a week ago, Mark Twain on the Damned Human Race. These are essays by Mark Twain, or as we know him as um, uh, Samuel Clemens. This is essays by him uh, on the Damned Human Race. Then I picked up Ten Myths About Calvinism at the Book Nook, Recovering the Breath of Reformed Tradition by Kenneth J. Stewart. Then I found this poet, poet I never heard of at a thrift store. If I see a volume of poetry that's not over a dollar and I, I just buy them because I try to get into more poetry the last couple of years. And this is the collected poems of John Jagardi. And it says back here, he was a contemporary of Robert Lowell, Elizabeth Bishop, Richard Wilbert, and Randall Jarrell. Uh, I, I don't have any poetry by Richard Wilbur, but I have poetry by Robert Lowell, Elizabeth Bishop, and Randall Jarrell. So I got this for our, my our poetry collection. Then I found this historical novel, I Always Love You. This is the love story of Mary Cassant and Higar, Elgar de Goss. De, 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 de Goss. Uh, so yeah, and then I picked up yesterday, I went to the Humane Society's bookstore, used or thrift store, this is John Plowman's Talks, Plain Advice for the Plain People by C.H. Spurgeon. C.H. Spurgeon was a very famous British 19th century uh, minister. Then I picked up at the Humane Society, Piano Lessons, Music, Love, and True Adventures by Noel Adams, a host of NPR's All Things Considered. And then I picked up this uh, novel, The Black-Eyed Blonde by Benjamin Black. This is a crime fiction. Benjamin Black is a, uh, is a pen name for the Booker Prize winning novelist John Bainfield. I also picked up this week at a thrift store another novel by Benjamin Black, uh, Vengeance. And I picked up this book on uh, the Indian in America. This is the history of Native Americans, uh, Indians here in America. This is by Wilcom E. Wishburn. And then I picked up this novel. It's not a novel. This is a travel memoir, American Vertigo, Traveling America and the Footsteps of Chaka Valley by Bernard Henry Le Levy. And then I found these two, these are 
basically essays, A Disuniting of America, Reflections on a Multicultural Society by author M. Schlesinger Jr. And Book Wars, What It Takes to Be Educated in America by James Atlas. I was reading this one here by James Atlas. James Atlas uh, wrote one of my favorite biographies on Saul Billows, the writer Saul Billows, which I highly recommend. I read that a couple years ago. but uh, So yeah, I was reading this last night. So those are the... Uh, also, I picked up this book, The Story of Sarah Losh, Forgotten Romantic Heroine Antiquarian an Aquarian Architect and Visionary, The Pine Pinecone by Ginny Ucklow. So those are the thrift store finds I, I found um, the last, oh, last week and this week. So I can put those down in the lower level this morning. As far as I was reading in the mornings, uh, this morning I'll just mention this because I'll mention what I've been reading not only in the mornings but in the afternoons and evenings in another video but this morning I was reading Sons in the Sun, Riches and Reach of Adoption in Christ by David B. Gardner As far as my diary, this morning I'm on page 677 Today is a Thursday, next Thursday will be in August 2017 here in West Michigan by Lake Michigan. It's been hot and muggy and rainy and damp and cloudy and it's just typical late summer weather, early fall. So that's about it. I don't know what else to to report. Uh, I hope to get in the mail that Don Powell Don Powell's works but that's about it nothing else to record or to mention thank you for the new subscribers and for the comments and I suppose I'll sign off to see if this recorded and hope it doesn't take six hours to download Be the reason why is because I have to leave I have a laptop down on the lower level but my wife likes to use the main computer up here. It's really her computer. And when she's home from work, she likes to use it. She's not really a big computer user, but once in a while she uses it and I like to have it free for her. So anyway, I'll sign off. I hope you have a good day. Until next time, bye.